Hello guys, Danny from Nadstech, and in this video guys, we're going to be having a look at backplates and really to see if they help temperatures. Now today I'm going to be testing a Zotac 1080, that's already on my test rig, also a GTX 960, this one's from Asus, and also an MSI GTX 960, just really just to have a range of cards and to see if different backplates that manufacturers put on cards do really make a difference. Quite a few do also have vents through the backplates, I know the 960 um, that I just had it in my hand, that has a, a totally flat back plate with no kind of vents or anything in like the 1060 and also the 1080. So without further ado, we're going to be jumping into the video, just going to go over my test methodology first and then yeah, just really get into the testing to see if back plates rather increase or decrease GPU temperatures. So to get right into it, my testing methodology, I'll be first testing all the cards with their back plates first. This way I can get a baseline figure for temperatures. I'll be jumping into Battlefield 4 for the testing. We'll have two online games on 64-man servers. This should result in the card being stressed for around 40 to 50 minutes. There should be more than enough time to allow all the cards to get to their highest temperatures. I'll be taking a room temperature after each test is complete as a bit of gaming does tend to warm the room up. All of our specs in the system will remain the same throughout the testing, results will be turned into delta temperatures later down the line. So first up, as for the most powerful card here, the Zotac GTX 1080, the card features a rather large backplate with many vents at one side of the plate. No thermal pads are present on the backplate so I'm assuming this plate should add to temperatures if anything. So with the backplate, the card reached 68 degrees maximum with an ambient temperature of 19.8 degrees, that's a delta of 48.2. Now as for removing the backplate and testing the card without the backplate, we see the same result of 68 degrees, however the room was 21.8 degrees with all the gaming, so that's a delta of 46.2 degrees, exactly 2 degrees lower, showing that removing the backplate on the Zotac 1080 does lower temperatures. Now moving on to the MSI GTX 1060, as for the baseline result we have 64 degrees with a room temp of 22.4 degrees, that's a delta of 41.6. So as for removing the backplate and testing the card again, we see no change in temperature, however the room was cooler at 21.3 degrees, a delta of 42.7, so this shows that with the GTX 1060's backplate removed, temperatures are indeed increased by 1.1 degrees, which is a completely different result to what we saw with the GTX 1080 from Zotac. We'll have to see what happens with the 960. So moving on to the ASUS GTX 960, first up for a test with the backplate in place we see a result of 65 degrees with a room temperature of 21.3 degrees, a delta of 43.3. Now as for removing the backplate and testing the card again we see 64 degrees core temp with the room being 21.3 so a delta of 42.7, a decrease of 0.6 degrees. Now this ASOS card was the only card to have a single thermal pad on the backplate. So peeps, to conclude, on backplates for graphic cards, from my testing we found that it really is hit and miss in terms of temperatures. We've had cards that run cooler with the backplates removed, but a card that increased when the backplate was removed in terms of the 1060. Now this spreadsheet sums up all the data gathered, this includes delta temperatures and the difference in temperatures in the last column. I was hoping to see more of a difference, especially with the GTX 1080 card, but these results are accurate enough to draw a conclusion that backplates really don't affect temperatures that much, and it's probably why nearly all cards have them now. Besides, they add to the aesthetics, rigidity, and allow for better safety. So guys, there we are. It's really hit and miss. It's really hit and miss in terms of temperatures increasing or decreasing. Um, yeah, it's quite interesting that the 1060 did have a different result to what the 1080 and the 960 got. So uh, yeah, it's been quite interesting. And yeah, just to really conclude, it doesn't really matter. And I think backplates, yeah, just are here to stay. As I've said at the end, they're kind of there for rigidity, safety, and another reason that I forgot. Rigidity, safety, oh, the aesthetics, yes, I think backplates do make GPUs look a little bit better since GPUs without the backplates, um, you do just see a lot of that mess on the back. There we are. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. Um, yeah, it's been quite interesting to see the results. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please feel free to uh, like, comment, and also subscribe. And hopefully I'll catch you guys in my next video. Goodbye.